Hi, my name is Xu Yan. Today I'm going to talk about a project that has been challenging for me in my past experience. In my Master of Management program, I had to work for a community business project. During that time, our group's task was to do our marketing research for, a, for an art gallery. And we need to understand how engagement works and we need to come up with an, a solution for the art gallery to increase the engagement. In the beginning, I thought the task would be easy because I graduated from graduated with an economics and mathematics degree, and uh, I have lots of experience in statistics, so I thought it would be easy. However, when I actually jumped into the project, I found it was actually very difficult. The first problem I encountered was that it was very difficult to get enough data. First of all, there wasn't much research about the engagement. So, which means I can't get enough secondary hand, secondary data. Also, it was very difficult to, for us to get first hand data. We tried to conduct a focus group and we put lots of effort into contacting all of our respondents. However, on the day of the focus group, our participants actually skipped the focus group because of various reasons. And uh, in order to overcome this difficulty, we our group came up with the idea that we transformed the focus group into several in-depth interviews and uh, it worked out just fine. The second problem our group encountered was that it was very difficult to handle some of the data. Because we were working for the art gallery, we had to listen to the, uh, listen to the suggestions from the art gallery. The staffs from the art gallery, they are very kind person. They were kind people, but it was sometimes they just don't know how statistics works. So sometimes they will come up with questions like, "Well, we want to know how our respondents like to spend their weekends, or you know how how much they like arts, or how much they enjoy arts." Which means it's, that's very difficult to quantify because it's like. Respondents will choose to answer like, oh, okay, I, I'd like to spend my weekends on the beach or they would like to go shopping. It's not quantitative data. So how do I, how do our group overcome this? How did our group overcome this difficulty? Well, first, for example, when we were trying to quantify the data from how our respondents like to do on weekends, we quantify the question into, okay, what's the, distance they would like to travel in, in order to enjoy their weekends and uh, how intense their activity on weekends like they like to do. Also for the uh, for the questions like how much do they enjoy arts, we just ask them to mark their interest into arts. Like, okay, give me a number between zero to 10 to describe how much you enjoy arts. That's how we quantify the data. So how is that relevant to my future future career in quantitative finance? Well, first, I know that in quantitative finance, I need to analyze lots of data. And uh, it was basically my job, it's in my job description. That's the first relevance. The second is that in order to analyze data, I have to collect it. However, it could be very difficult to collect and uh, I need to find a way to find the data I need and to collect them. Last but not least, Sometimes the data are collected, they can be, there can be some overlap or there can be some irrelevance between the data I found and the data I need. So how to transform the data collected into what I want is another project I need to work on. That's how I see the, how my past experience are related to my intended career in quantitative finance. Thank you.